Hello everyone, this is Michael Tridhart, National Technology Instructor, and I want to take you through the brand new steps for how to update the CNAME process for your e-agency site. GoDaddy has made a recent change to their back office. The concept is still the same, just the steps on how to get to it are slightly different, different enough to where it may cause you some confusion. So let's go ahead and let's walk through these steps and let's make sure that you guys get your CNAME set up. One thing that you need to keep in mind, you can only currently do a C name for your e agency website. You cannot do a C name for your e edge site. Now, when you become, if you become an e edge pro user with Market Leader, you do have the ability to use a custom domain name. But if you are an e edge user, it's always going to end in .kwrealty.com. With your e agency site, you can make it become whatever name you want, such as in this case, MichaelTreadhart.com. So here's how we go in and we get it all set up. We, we get into kw.com, we log into the back office, we come over to where it says My Marketing and we hit the plus sign. When we come down to where it says Manage E-Agency Website, that's going to open us up into the E-Agency back office. Now if we come over here and we go to step 2.0, 2.4, when you first open up this website, What's going to have what, what's, what you're going to have in that box right here, where it says Michael T. For me, you're going to have a series of letters and numbers. You can go in and make that whatever you want it to be, but keep in mind it's always going to end in .yourkidofagent.com. A lot of times, you know, keep in mind my site's my site's a little bit different because I'm a trainer, but when I'm training the agents, I always tell them use something that is geographically based, or you can use your name. It's up to you. You have some options. But go in and try to put in some keywords. If you work the Austin area, austinhomes.yourkidofagent.com, something along the lines of that. If you want to put your name in there, that's fine as well. But go ahead and change out the series of letters and numbers. Put in something that's unique to you. You're going to save your changes. You're going to save your changes right down here at the very bottom. Now, this is a step that you can do here right now, or you can do it at the very end. But if you come over to where it says step 1.0, 1.1, you're going to scroll down, and if you want to know what the definition of a CNAME is, you can click that link right there. But what you're going to do is you're going to come down and make sure that this is all blank. There's no domain there, but put in the domain name that you want to be the CNAME. And you would put them in one at a time and make sure that they start with HTTP and you have the www dot in there as well. Don't type this in. Copy and paste. I've seen way too many agents make a mistake and they have two W's versus three W's and, and they, they just don't see the mistake and it causes them a lot of frustration. Always copy and paste in the domain name that you want and then hit save. You can do multiple C names. If you wanted to have five uh, C names going to your homepage of your e-agency site, you would just add them one at a time and hit save. If you did decide to purchase from the KW domain store, which is very similar in the back office and in the, in the workings of GoDaddy, you could do that here. But a lot of people are going to go out and they're going to purchase their domain name from GoDaddy. Now here's a little marketing tip, save you a little bit of money. GoDaddy does some marketing out on Google. And if you go out to Google and you type in domain name and do a search, you will see an ad that comes up for GoDaddy that is going to be 99 cents for the first year and then it's going to be a cheaper rate from, from that year moving forward with that domain name. Do that, even if you are already a current GoDaddy user, do that because you can log into your account and get that savings versus just coming over here and buying a domain name from GoDaddy because that will be a little bit more expensive. Every little penny counts. So I'm already a GoDaddy user. I'm going to come up here and I've got my account already logged in. You can see I've, it says log out. I've already logged in. Here's one of the biggest changes is they've moved where you can find the domains from the left to the right. So now if you just come over to where it says your first name, click on visit my account. When I do that, I'm going to see a list that comes up here in just a second, and the list that comes up is going to include domains. Come over here, click on domains, and if you scroll down a little bit, you will see that you have all of your domains. I've got 17 listed in there. You've got a, you've got a uh, page scroll function right here, so I'm going to go to page two, and I look and I see that I have Michael Treadhart already purchased right there. And if I come over and I take the action of launch, give it a second for it to load up, I'm going to go into the back office of MichaelTreadhart.com. I'm going to look at some of the settings. I'm going to make sure that everything's right. And when I go in and do this for the very, very first time, I have to come over to where it says DNS zone file. And I click that. 
And if I scroll down, you see that I'm in the C name alias category. And if I come down to the very last item on that list, I'm going to click into that cell and I'm going to make some changes. And I'm trying to click and it's not working and you're going to get frustrated. You got to hit edit first. So make sure you hit edit. Give it a second here. Scroll down. Now you're going to come down here and you're going to edit these items. Make sure that you leave the www alone. Don't touch it. Don't put anything else extra in there. Don't delete it. Just leave it alone. You're going to come over here and you're going to copy and paste in the michaelt.yourkidabagent.com, the austinhomes.yourkidabagent.com, whatever it is. That's all that you need in that spot. Then you're going to hit Save Zone File, and it's going to say OK, and then you're going to hit OK again. Now what you've just done is you've gone in and you've done half the process. You've done half the process, and we're almost done. It's pretty easy. That feature with GoDaddy, that usually takes at most two minutes, three minutes to update. So you should be able to go out and, and see that if you typed in www.michaeltrithart.com, you've effectively changed the, changed the name of your domain. Well, what if somebody doesn't type in the W's? What if they just go out and they type in michaeltrithart.com? That's the part that we have to go in and we have to fix. So let's go back out here to your home page. And when I click on home, I'm scrolling down and I'm looking for, for the name that I want. And there it is. And if I check that name, I see that I have some options. I see edit zone. I see advanced settings. I see all these other items. Well, edit zone is going to take me back to where I, where I was at. And I go, well, you know, I don't want that. I'm looking for something that's going to allow me to change some of the settings. So I come over here and I click on advanced settings. That's going to take you into all this other stuff that you really, quite honestly, don't need. So come back to home. And you start looking around, and this is the part where it gets a little gets a little wonky with uh, with uh, GoDaddy. Is they change some of the steps. So come up here to where it says My Account, and you can come over here and you can start to look and see. You have all these different options that are available over here. And if I come back and I click on My Account Overview, that's going to take me back out to my domain names, and I click on those. And I scroll down, and now if I look at uh, page two again, if I click on launch, that's going to bring me back to this screen. And as I look down through here, I see all again all these different options, but one of the ones that I want is I want to forward. Right here it says forwarding. That's underneath settings. So if I come over and I go to where it says manage, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to say, let's edit. Now yours would be blank in the very beginning. I've already done all this. But you want to make sure that you put in www. whatever your domain name is, in this case, michaeltridhart.com. You want to choose the 301 permanent. You want to do forward only. Okay. Do not do any masking. Do not do masking. That will mess up your site big time. But you're going to go in, you're going to make all those changes, and you're going to hit save. Now, I've already done this. That's not. That's why it's not asking me to save it. But then when I would hit save right here, I, I can hit update forward and hit save. This will take, I've seen, up to an hour for it to update. So if you go out to your site and you type in www.michaeltreadhart.com, that should immediately show the setting changes. If you typed it in without the W's, that may take up, up to an hour for it to go into effect. But when it does go into effect, what will happen if you watch the domain name, when you type it in, you type in michaeltreadhart.com, in a matter of seconds, half a second, it will forward over to www.michaeltreadhart.com. This is going to help you with your SEO. This is going to help you with your branding. From this point moving forward, that's when you would want to go in and set up Google Analytics, Google Webmaster. You want to make sure that those products are tracking the domain name that you want people to go out and see. So watch those other videos that I have on my YouTube channel. They'll help you with all those other steps. I've also got some eEdge training that you guys can take advantage of. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to shoot me an email. You can always contact me, of course, on michaeltreadhart.com. And I've got some training tips that are all throughout the site. I've got a website and social media enhancement page right here that you can see some samples of what my design team can do. I've got my training calendar, I've got my training courses, 
pretty much this site is a resource for any real estate agent that, that is out there. So hopefully you found this video to be beneficial. If you have any feedback, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. Thanks. Bye.